As summer turns to fall, Glory Kickboxing has saved its best for last in 2017. Four events on three continents with five title fights highlight an action-packed final three months. Glory returns to the Netherlands in December for the season-ending Glory 49, featuring Glory Redemption, when number two ranked Jamal Ben Sadiq gets his first title shot as he faces five-time defending heavyweight champion Rico Verhoeven. One week earlier, women's super bantamweight champion Tiffany Van Soos defends her title for the second time at Glory 48 New York. But before that, Glory delivers a knockout punch in October with two events. First up, Glory's global expansion as we head to Guangzhou for Glory 46 China. Then two weeks later, we make our second visit of 2017 to France for Glory 47 Lyon. On this edition of Inside Glory, we'll preview the upcoming events in both China and Lyon. Middleweight Simon Marcus will be featured in our fighter profile, and then we'll turn the spotlight on heavyweight champion Rico Verhoeven. I'll be joined later by my broadcast partner and former welterweight champion Joseph Valtellini as we preview Glory 47 Lyon. Don't blink, Inside Glory starts right now. Hello and welcome into Inside Glory. My name is Todd Grisham. What a great nine events it's been so far in 2017 for the world's premier kickboxing organization. There have already been 11 world title fights in glory as we go storming into October. And what a finale we should have towards the end of the year. If you're not familiar with our glory cards, every single time we have at least one, if not two, world title fights. And every glory card also features a one-night four-man contender tournament. You win it, you get a future title shot somewhere down the line. Before we look ahead to our next Glory event, let's take a look back right now at our Glory Divisions. There's seven of them. It's our Glory Division recap. In December 2016, the inaugural Women's Super Bantamweight Tournament came to a close at Glory Collision in Germany. American time bomb Tiffany Van Seuss took three straight victories and the title to be crowned the first division champion. At Glory 44 Chicago, Van Seuss defended her title for the first time and in dominating fashion defeated Germany's Miriam Uslu with a fourth round TKO. Next up for the champ, Glory 48 New York, where she will defend her title for the second time. In the featherweight division, Ruben Van Roosmalen reigns supreme after retaining the belt through five brutal rounds against Serhei Adamchuk at Glory 45 Amsterdam. The Dutch Pitbull now prepares to face Glory 43 contender tournament champion Kevin Van Ostrand of the United States at Glory 48 New York. At Glory 39 Brussels, Sidichai defended the lightweight belt for a second time, fighting contender tournament winner Dylan Salvador. As Sidichai turned up the pace, the Frenchman wilted under the bombardment of relentless knees to the midsection. Salvador folded in the fourth, giving Sidichai another knockout win. He's currently training hard to defend his title again in the near future. New welterweight champion Myrtle Grunhardt described the division as a war zone after taking the belt from Cedric Dumbe through five tough rounds at Glory 44 Chicago. And there are certainly battles ahead for the new champion. Harut Gregorian is thirsty for revenge on Grunhardt after a controversial knockout and he just powered his way through a welterweight contender tournament to put himself in prime position for a title shot. Close behind him, Nicky Holskin hopes to start his journey back to the top at Glory 45 Amsterdam. Grunhardt will have his work cut out in one of Glory's deadliest divisions. At Glory 40 Copenhagen, Simon Marcus challenged the man who took his middleweight belt, reigning champion Jason Psycho Wilness. This time, Marcus showed Wilness's power some respect and kept his focus. Marcus regained the belt by the narrowest of margins and will next defend the title at Glory 46 China against Brazil's Alex Pereira. Behind him lies a stacked division with fellow North Americans Dustin Jacoby and Rob Thomas both scoring impressive victories at Glory 44 Chicago. 
Light heavyweight champion Artem Vahitov retained the title after a dazzling defeat of Brazilian behemoth Salo Cavallari at Glory 38 Chicago. A recurring injury has him temporarily sidelined, and under Glory rules, a light heavyweight interim title bout took place at Glory 43 New York and saw Pavel Zervalev defeat Cavallari by unanimous decision to become the number one ranked opponent for Vahitov. However, he will have to wait his turn as Ariel Machado, winner of the light heavyweight contender tournament back at Glory 38, will take on Vahitov when he returns at Glory 47 Lyon. And at the top of it all, heavyweight superstar Rico Verhoeven continued his winning streak through 2016-17 with a solid defeat of Moroccan Ismail Lazar at Glory 41 Holland. Verhoeven returns to the ring in a non-title championship bout against Antonio Bigfoot Silva. Silva moves from the MMA cage to the Glory ring to take on the king of kickboxing as Glory expands its global footprint and debuts in China with Glory 46. Verhoeven's next title defense will come two months later in Rotterdam when he takes on Man Mountain Jamal Big Ben Sadiq. These two have history with Ben Sadiq scoring a knockout win over Verhoeven early in their careers. Both fighters have grown and matured since then, but while Verhoeven has climbed to the top of the division, Ben Sadiq has not had the same level of success. Sadiq called out the champion after his victory at Glory 39 Brussels, and Verhoeven was all too happy to climb into the ring and accept his challenge. I want Rico coming to the ring, man, come. This isn't even a challenge. It's game, you know, I beat him once. I beat him once, it's nothing. He wants it, let's do it, we got this. If their face-off is any indicator, when these two giants meet in the Netherlands in December, it could be the fight of the year. Seven divisions, three new champions, and one interim title. Glory continues its dominance throughout 2017 as the number one kickboxing organization on the planet. Speaking of Rico Verhoeven, a bit later on, we'll spotlight the heavyweight champion and new father as he readies to headline Glory 46 China. Our fighter profile is on newly crowned middleweight champion Simon Marcus as he prepares to defend his title for the first time. And later on, I'll be joined by my broadcast partner, Bazooka Joe, as we look ahead to Glory 47 Lyon. Up next, though, we take a closer look at a historic event as Glory debuts in China. You're watching Inside Glory. In the five years since Glory launched, it's hosted 45 fight cards, 90 live shows on three continents around the world. And coming up in October, Glory finally goes into China for Glory 46. The city it's being held in, Guangzhou, has over 13 million residents and is located just northeast of Hong Kong. And with 12 bouts on the China Glory 46 card, there's something for everybody. According to an ancient Chinese proverb, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step for Glory Kickboxing. That step will happen here in the city of Guangzhou. Some of China's modern day warriors will also make that step onto the world stage. The Sniper, King Hao Mong. Chen Chen, the animal trainer, Lee. He is Chen Long. This is one of the wildest fights I've ever seen. And the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Rico Verhoeven. I gotta give this uh, Chinese audience a, a great knockout, so that's what's gonna happen. We'll not go for three rounds. As he takes on Antonio Bigfoot Silva. He's a man like me, you know, and nothing is impossible. I fought the best guys in the world over in, you know, Mahan, K1 guys, you know. And in the main event, there's bound to be fireworks. Middleweight champion Simon the One Marcus has the belt around his waist, and he won't be giving it up lightly. He takes on Alex Poetan Pereira. Pereira is the world's number three ranked middleweight and has earned more than 70% of his wins by knockout. There's only one thing left to ask. Are you ready for glory? 
Glory fans in China have long awaited the debut of Glory Kickboxing, and they're about to get it in October. And one of the fighters they're most excited to see has to be a man that considers China to be his second home, the current middleweight champion of the world. It's time for our fighter profile on Simon Marcus. Simon Marcus and I will be a champion forever. I live as a champion, I think as a champion. No matter what, I will always be a champion. Guangzhou, China, my second uh, home almost. Uh, I've been to China 13 times already. I'm fighting Alex Pereira. Uh, it's gonna be defending my glory world title and we're gonna get it done, as always. Simon is what I call the field general. He sees things in there uh, that I may not see. Nobody can match my tenacity and I fear no man in the world. When I stand, when I look at myself, when I uh, go inside myself and think about who I am, I'm 100% certain that uh, God has destined me for this position that I have now and the glory belt has chosen me. When you're on Simon's level, they want what you have, right? They, they want to be recognized the way he's recognized. They will never admit it, but they don't want to be matched with Simon. It's what I do. I breathe, sleep, eat, Muay Thai and kickboxing. Always training, always looking to get better, always looking to refine my skills and be a better person and a smarter fighter as well, more technical. So on my path, I'm still growing and that's what keeps me pushing. Simon's knowledge is a lot deeper than they at first uh, imagined. You know, say at first his clinch game, it was such on a high level that they thought, oh, he must be a clinch specialist. And then they start to find out, uh, you know, he's very, very good at a bunch of other areas too, and I um, got bad news, guys. You've only scratched the surface of what you can actually do. I have beaten all the best fighters in the world. Artab Levin, I've beaten him three times. Joe Schilling, beaten him twice. Jason Wilmis, beaten him twice. Uh, Artem Vakatov, beaten him twice. Jacoby, beaten him twice. I haven't just beaten the best, I've beaten the best at their best. Pereira is gonna do things that Pereira usually does, right? I think. He considers himself uh, a boxer. Alex can try to use his boxing against me, but at the end of the day, he will be exposed for his weaknesses and he will have to go back to the drawing board after this fight. I ain't worried about Alex, you know, big, tall guy, whatever. He's gonna get beat down just like the rest of them. I'm sure and more than confident that I have enough skill, will, and power to destroy Alex with no issues. Alex Pereira, your days are numbered, you're going against the one. It's not looking good for you, brother. I'm sure you'll learn from this experience. It's nothing personal, business as usual. But again, you're going against the one. Going into China to mash it up. Of Simon Marcus's 47 career victories, 14 have come in China. And you can expect a hero's greeting when he takes to the ring. A bit later on, we'll spotlight Rico Verhoeven as he prepares to take on MMA veteran Antonio Bigfoot Silva will be making his glory debut. But up next, we turn our attention to Glory 47 Leon, where I'll be joined by my broadcast partner, Bazooka Joe Joseph Baltolini. You're watching Inside Glory. Welcome back to Inside Glory. When Cedric Dumbe lost his welterweight title in Chicago to Myrtle Grunhart, the first thing he wanted to do was get back in the ring, and he gets that chance in Lyon for Glory 47. It's his home country, and he'll face a fellow Frenchman in Johan Ledon, a man that's already beaten Cedric Dumbe once before. Also in Lyon, we see the return of one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world today, and Artem Vahitov, who just happens to be the light heavyweight champion. He'll put his title on the line against contender tournament winner Ariel Machado. Also in France, two women square off with a chance to face Tiffany Van Suit for the super bantamweight title in New York City. Glory Kickboxing heads to one of the oldest cities in Europe, Lyon, France, and will feature the best that France has to offer. In the women's division, Funda Alcaius sets her sights on France's own Anissa Mexen. These two women have an astounding 63% striking accuracy, and neither wants to go to the scorecards.
the winner, hoping to get a shot at the title holder, Tiffany Van Soost. And they aren't the only ones looking for a title. Current champ Artem Bahitov takes on Ariel Machado. Ariel Machado fought his way through a four-man tournament at Glory 38, while in the same night, Bahitov went on to successfully defend his title against another Brazilian, Salo Cavallari. Bahitov is widely considered one of the pound-for-pound -pound best kickboxers in the sport today. Also fighting at Glory in Leon is former welterweight champion Cedric Dumbe in his first fight since losing the welterweight title. His road back to the championship starts on home soil. The crafty Dumbe will open up his book of tricks as he fights a French derby battle with veteran brawler Johan Ledon. There will be nothing civil about this war. Ledon seeks to land enough brutal kicks to send him to the canvas. Whoever manages to impose his style on the other will walk away with the win and his name in the title contender conversation. The night also features some of France's best, knockout artist Zinedine Hammerlain, Fabio Pinca, Dylan Salvador. Be sure not to miss the world's number one kickboxing organization, France. Are you ready? Joining me now, my broadcast colleague, former welterweight champion of the world, Joseph Valtellini, Glory 47 Leon coming up. You saw the three fights. Let's break those down. Artem Vahitov, maybe the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world today, makes his return. Well, yeah, he has a tough fight against Machado, who, again, had to win a contender's tournament in order to get this shot. Um, and it all came at Glory 38 Chicago. Uh, that's where Machado won the tournament to earn himself this shot. Um, also that night, Vahitov was able to beat his fellow Brazilian, Saulo Cavallari. So Vahitov has a good success rate against Brazilians. Um, so I'm expecting a tough fight from Machado. Machado shows a lot of forward aggressiveness, which I think could give Vahitov some problems. So um, Vahitov is going to really have to come and shine that night. But he's a technical beast. And just seeing him... But he's coming off a broken hand. He's coming off a broken hand. But seeing his training videos, he's been doing um, a lot of pad work and a lot of drilling to get that hand back into shape. And i just excited to see him. He's got to be on one of my favorites to watch. He is the light heavyweight champion of the world, is Artem Vahitov. The former welterweight champion of the world, Cedric Dumbe, fights for the first time since losing his title. And he's fighting a man that's already beaten him before. Uh, they actually fought in 2014, Johan Ledon getting the decision. Uh, this is going to be a fight to see who the number one welterweight in France is. Johan Ledon has a ton of experience, and he wants to get back on his winning ways and get his chance at a glory championship. And same thing with Dubé. Coming off to that loss from Myrtle Grunhardt, um, it wasn't his best performance. And he came out and said, you know, I have, I'm a lot better. I can do better. So he's going to have to really show that against Ledon. Mentally, where do you think Dubé is going to be considering he's coming off a loss and he was so high on the world saying that no one was ever going to beat him. And then he kind of got knocked down a few pegs by Grunhardt. Well, I think he's a true martial artist and I think it's only going to make him stronger. Uh, he's going to go in camp and he comes out publicly and says he doesn't like training, but this might spark some you know, energy in him to get back in the gym, training hard, and get his world title back. Yeah, he said he'd rather just fight all the time, yeah. but Glory doesn't put him in the ring enough, but we're like, look, we're going to put you in the ring every three weeks. That's what we got to do to keep you in shape. it's a quick return, and I know he's capable of doing it. He has a style that doesn't take a lot of damage, so I expect uh, you know, Dumbay to be in the number one contendership very soon. Also in Lyon, two of the best female fighters on the planet squaring off, Funda Ak Caiz taking on Anessa Mexen. And there's a lot riding on this fight. The winner of this fight gets to fight current champion Tiffany Van Soos at Glory 48 New York. Both of these girls are very talented. You're going to see Anissa Mexen try to move where Funda is going to come and try to pressure her. That's right. The Super Bantamweight title will be on the line December 1st at Madison Square Garden against the winner in Lyon. Joseph, thanks All for right. stopping by, my friend. Thanks for having me. All right. When we return here to Inside Glory, we spotlight new father and heavyweight world champion Rico Vera. You're watching Inside Glory. The biggest name in our sport today has to be the king of kickboxing. That's what he calls himself. Rico Verhoeven, the heavyweight champion of the world. 51 career victories and riding a 13-fight win streak here in glory, Rico Verhoeven appears to be unstoppable. And outside the ring, things are pretty darn good too as he just welcomed his third child, his first boy, into the world this past month. We turn our spotlight now on the king, Rico, as he prepares for Glory China. Ladies and gentlemen, your main event, 
three three-minute rounds in the heavyweight division. Antonio Bigfoot Silva and Rico Verhoeven. So the fight with Bigfoot uh, came together for, through Glory. Glory said, um, hey Rico, well, we, uh, we got a fight for you in China, and, but we wanted a little bit of different approach. So we're looking for an opponent and they came with, with some names and Bigfoot was on top of the list. <laughs> Because Bigfoot is, he comes from a karate background, so he has the stand-up. For me, it doesn't really matter actually, because my style is just gonna be the same. You know, uh, the kickboxing background is just stand-up, pop, 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 low kick. That's kickboxing. I think I took kickboxing to the next level. Not a lot of guys are already adapted to that. So that's why I'm so far ahead of everybody. So I think that's the difference. So that's why I don't need to change approaches for anybody. Good morning, guys. What's up? Back at it again. Go. Uh, my ideal scenario for this fight will be... Yeah, in the second round somewhere he's gonna get caught. And he's gonna go down. I'm gonna get my hands raised. Uh, Ni Hao, Wu Ai, Jung Guo. I'm excited. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been I've been practicing that. Like I like the last time I tried to speak a little bit of Chinese, so I'm 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 doing my best. I wanna make a big name in China. I wanna bring the sport of kickboxing to the next level in China, and that's what we're gonna do with Glory. Glory 46, China is coming to you. It's gonna be on your television. If you can't see it live, make sure you tune in because it's gonna be one hell of a show. It's hard to see Rico getting beat anytime soon. He's in the prime of his career and his legend just continues to grow. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Inside Glory. Next up, Glory 46 China, featuring the best kickboxers from the Far East, along with Glory champion Simon Marcus and Rico Verhoeven. Then it's on to Lyon for Glory 47. Be sure to check your local listings for date and time in your area. And don't forget to check out all things Glory on our website, glorykickboxing.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as catch up on all our Glory features and fights on our YouTube channel. I'm Todd Grisham. Thanks for watching this edition of Inside Glory. Are you ready for Glory?